A lot of people have asked me about my origin story. Uh, that's what I like to call it, my origin story, like I'm a superhero or something. I'm going to try and explain some of it to you guys, how I became an animator and my journey through animation. Buckle your seatbelts, it's a long story and this is how I became an animator. First of all, childhood, I didn't draw that much actually. I drew a little bit because my brother, my older brother would draw and I would watch him draw and you know occasionally I would draw but not really a lot. I wasn't that interested in drawing from a young age and I did alright in school. I just did like, I was in the upper percentage of students. I was quite capable. Anyway, let's fast forward to high school. So I was maybe 13 years old, maybe 14 years old. And I, I liked ICT, um, computer technology, I guess you would call it, or information technology. I liked that as a subject. And on the school computers, there were all these different softwares and things. And my friend Jay, he basically said to me one day, like, oh, you should try Flash. So he, he opened up Flash. Um, and was showing me Flash, so I, I would watch him and say, well, what is that? Did you make that? And he was like, yeah, I made it. That was cool. He sort of got me into the whole Flash thing. And for a while, we would just spend our lunch hours um, in the IT rooms, just experimenting with animation. Uh, animations and games, because you can make games on Flash as well. So we had played Flash games, but then we realized that you can make Flash games in Flash. So yeah, we, it was just a fun time, you know, and just for fun we would experiment with different things that we could make. I never really thought at that point that it would get any bigger than that. It was like playing a game, really. You know, Jay, Jay was a... Jay is... I still know him. Jay is a very... Um, he, he just tries a lot of different things and it's really good to have friends like that I found because um, when he would try different things he would just tell me about them or he would say oh you should look into this and then sometimes I would look into it and then on this occasion I looked into animation and I got into it so he would just try loads of different things and he also introduced me to Newgrounds and so for a while I was just playing games on Newgrounds you know occasionally I would play a game on Newgrounds and then at one point I realised, or he helped me to realise that those games and those animations were made by real people and just average ordinary people. It wasn't like, you know, these experts or anything, like anyone could make these games. So that was really a turning point for me. It made me realise that you can self-author things, you don't need to go through the whole school system, you can just start making things by yourself and and put them out online for people to watch and to play. So Newgrounds was a huge thing for me. I think if it wasn't for Newgrounds, I might not have ever gotten into animation ever. Thank you Tom Fulp. <laughs> he really did get me into all of it and, and Jay as well, I owe them a lot. It was quite a long time between me ex first experimenting with Flash games and animations to me deciding to publish one of my animations. So I made this fight scene, it was with tweens, it looks kind of silly now, but I was pretty proud of it at the time, I thought it was good. And I put it out there on on Newgrounds and people watched it, you know. It wasn't like a viral sensation, but some people watched it and I was really happy that people had watched it, some people had commented on it, gave me feedback, and it started this whole thing of me self-authoring, self-publishing online. Then the step up from that was still on Newgrounds, there was uh, the Newgrounds forums and on these forums there was this tournament that would take place every year called the NATA. I decided one summer to just give it a go because they, they organised it so that it would take place during the summer break when school kids had, the, had a lot of time to themselves to make things. So I entered into that and I made my first entry <laughs> These tournaments are really tough, so I, I didn't stick around for that long, I, I dropped out after a while because basically the idea behind the tournaments is that you create one 
animation every month and every month you either get eliminated or you go through to the next round and so at, at one point or another I was always eliminated. The people who win uh, those tournaments are really really amazing. I know some of them personally and um, you have to work really hard to win one of those tournaments but it was a great experience and what's more it just um, forced me to create more content. I think if you're someone who wants to get your ex if you want to get your experience up really fast and just level up as fast as you can at making animations, at animating, drawing, the whole the whole thing. Um, tournaments is like the fastest way to do it because you're forced to within that month, that's four weeks, you have to create a completely original animation concept and you do it to a theme which helps you to come up with ideas as well. That gave me such a boost. Before I had even considered making this my career choice, I had this portfolio of work from doing these tournaments and it soon became like an obsession. Like, I I had two obsessions. I was, I was gaming, I, I had a RuneScape addiction. I don't know if any of you have played RuneScape but I was addicted to that for quite a few years, but then animating sort of took over that obsession with RuneScape, so I was able to sort of switch out the gaming addiction for another addiction, except this addiction was actually productive. I would actually make uh, something that, that had real value to it. So. Uh, yeah, I didn't really beat my addiction, I just switched from one addiction to another, which is quite funny. I was definitely thinking about these animations a lot more than I was thinking about my schoolwork. Although, I always loved school, uh, you know, I went to a very good school, it was a public school, but it was, it was a good public school, we had great teachers, and I, I liked every subject that I studied, I found them all really fascinating. Um, I love learning, but I was kind of <laughs> running home to just create another animation or to work on my animations. So, yeah, it, my grades did start to go down a little bit towards A levels. Um, or maybe it was just because I couldn't keep up with everyone, but my grades dipped a little bit. They were still fine, you know, I still passed everything. But that was okay, you know. So my inspirations around this time, I can't really remember, but uh, a lot of the, you know, the top Newgrounds animators were big inspirations in the beginning. People like Eagle Raptor and <laughs> like Johnny Utah, <laughs> Chris O'Neill. So they're, they're all comedy animators, right? And I tried that a little bit towards the start because that's what I knew because I come from Newgrounds, I was a Newgrounds animator so I tried comedy but I, I realised after a while that it wasn't me, you know, I was trying to be, I was trying to be a comedian when really I, I just didn't know anything else, I didn't know how to do anything else and it must have been a gradual change, I don't know. Um, I was very inspired by um, Jazza as well, you know, he was one of those people, like I watched his animations in the very beginning because uh, Jay told me to watch them and I couldn't believe it was just made by one guy, um, like he had made everything in like the Larry series and the Paladin series, he had just made everything in there and I couldn't, I couldn't believe that but I, he showed me that that was possible. I mean, I think I discovered Naruto at some point in my teens and, um, you know, I was pretty inspired by that because that was just a whole different level of, like, professional animation that I discovered and, it, you know, teenagers go through, they seem to go through an anime phase. I, my, mine wasn't that big. I had some ICT projects, IT projects in, uh, in college as well where, you know, we would have to make a project and everyone's was kind of lame and then I was like, I would just go all out on it, I would try my best and, and make something really cool and then everyone was like, oh, whoa, you got to check out Howard's. So that made me, um, you know, that gave me some encouragement. I've had a lot of encouragement over the years, you know, there were just, just the occasional person in, in school, when they would see an animation that I'd made, they, they would just ask me, have you considered doing animation? You know, for a while I just said, no, nah, I, 
I'm going to do geography. <laughs> um, I want to do geography because it's like an academic subject, I don't know. I think enough people said it where I started thinking, actually, yeah, maybe I should, maybe I should do animation. Like, I really enjoy it. I'm addicted to it. Um, it's really fun. And people seem to think it's good. I was like, maybe I should. But that was just kind of at the back of my mind for a while and I didn't give it much thought. And even my mum was saying it. And my mum wanted me to, you know, she, she was very keen that I do well academically. So it was quite surprising when she said, you sure you don't want to do animation? For whatever reason, it didn't occur to me until quite late that I could actually do animation as a career. So I didn't make that decision until until A-levels, which is like, I must have been like 18, 19, maybe 18. And this was around the time I had my first commission. So even when I was getting commissioned to make animations for this guy, I still, to my knowledge, if I, if I remember correctly, I still didn't think I was going to do animation as a career, even though this guy was paying me to make his animated series. So, so yeah, I should talk more about that. Among all the different animations I put onto Newgrounds, one of them was a fight scene. And I guess some people thought I was uh, good at fight scenes, I don't know. Um, but someone emailed me on Newgrounds and was just like, hey, I'm, I want to create this animated series and uh, I think you're perfect for animating, for, for creating it, for making it real. And it was because of my fight scenes. He, he had a few ideas for fight scenes in his animation. So he said, do you do an hourly rate or something? So we, anyway, we worked it out. So I was paid per hour and I just did it part time. And this thing took me forever. Like each episode was like five minutes long. Yeah, so while that was happening, I was doing my A-levels. A-levels were really stressing me out because, you know, my grades were declining. I wasn't finding school easy anymore, not the exams at least. So it was a lot of pressure on myself and, you know, because I wanted to study geography for whatever reason at university. Yeah, it's just stressing me out and I was like, oh, like I'm so worried about these exams and it was just not nice. Yeah, one day it just clicked for me. Um, I was just sitting in this chair and I just turned around to my mum. I, I didn't even know what I was saying. And I just turned around to her. I just felt really nice. I felt really um, relaxed. And I just said to her, I think I'm gonna do animation at university. I, I'm gonna make it my career. And then from then on, I just didn't, um, I never looked back. I didn't think about it anymore. Like as soon as the words left my mouth, um, even though I wasn't consciously thinking it, like as soon as the words left my mouth, it was like, yeah, of course, <laughs> like, uh, of course I should do animation and it, it became obvious. And then I, since that day, I've never looked back. I've never had any doubts. There's anything else I want to do. I'm aware that maybe at some point I'm gonna, <sighs> who knows, maybe I'll get bored of animation somehow. Maybe I will stop finding it amazing. But if that happens, then there are so many different avenues that I can step into. So many different related subjects that I could sidestep into. Like animation is connected to so much more. It's connected to filmmaking, photography, acting, uh, writing. There's like, there's so much. So I can just sidestep into one of them if that happens. But right now, no, nope. had no doubts at all since I made that decision. Um, it's just been an absolute joy to be in this field and to be working on these amazing creative projects with other amazing creative people. I don't know if that's going to be the same to you. I don't want to like, I don't want to give too much specific advice because maybe you'll be different but man I was one of those people who said if I do my hobby as a full-time career then it will suck the fun out of it and I won't find it enjoyable anymore I was one of those people 
And so I thought, oh, I'll just do a legitimate job, like something that is kind of respectable, but a little bit boring. And then in my free time on the weekends, I'll do animation, because that's nice and safe. Like I was, I was totally in that. And then one day I just switched and I do not regret that for one second. Now, granted, I did not have a lot of resistance. I know that some people out there, you might be one of them, you might have resistance from your parents or from your friends, from your girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, uh, you might get resistance. So I can't really speak for you, like I understand that's a big obstacle, but really, if those people in your life, and if they want to be around you, and they care for you, not for them, for you, they should be happy for you to make that decision if that's what you're going to be happy doing. There are some exceptions. I mean, some some people in, in the older generation, they really have this negative view about art careers. I know I'm sidestepping into the art careers talk, but it seems like a good way to end this, this section. So some people in the older generation do have this problem with art careers because it just wasn't a respected job. But times have changed, man. Art careers are seriously seriously important. Let me put it this way, as, as more time goes on in the 21st century, more and more jobs are being replaced by robots. So you look in shops and you see cashiers, they're now robot operated in a lot of major stores. So all those people who were working behind tills are make, getting made redundant. And this is gonna keep happening and there are gonna be more and more roles that are just going to be replaced by machine learning, and um, and by just robots. I think, and a lot of experts think, that the last things to be eliminated from that are going to be art jobs. Because art is human. It's all about the imperfections. The imperfections are what makes it so wholesome. Robots and with computers and algorithms and things, they are created to not make mistakes. They are created to find the most efficient way to get to something. And art isn't about that. Art is all about the journey. It's about the bumps in the road. It's about the interesting things. So if you're someone who looks ahead and has foresight, you're gonna see that, that art is an extremely legitimate career. A anything creative really is what I'm saying. Um, it's so valuable. Creative solutions are so, so valuable to businesses, to governments, to countries, to communities. Creativity is so important. Anyway, that was my little, I, I got sidetracked there. So that was, that's part one. <laughs> I make lots of videos on this channel, lots of animation related videos, but they also go into filmmaking, art, I think there's a lot you can learn from this channel. So subscribe if you haven't already. Join the comments section, talk uh, talk to people in the comments section about your different aspirations and things, whatever you want to talk about really. Uh, it doesn't have to be about this video. And I have a Patreon account if you are very generous and you want to see this channel last long into the future and keep creating high quality videos, then Patreon is the way that you can support me there. Um, all right. I'm done. <laughs> See you in the next video. Goodbye.